OnlyFans has exposed a pretty dark truth about, well, society, men, the future of artificial intelligence and technology, and to be honest, looking at everything we're about to cover in this video, I'm worried for my son growing up in a world with this kind of stuff going on, and it goes way beyond just girls posting pictures of themselves on the internet. This is about the coming technological terror of AI, girlfriends, robot, and men who are going to become increasingly sexless. The future of society is at stake here, guys. Before we get into that topic, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you do enjoy this kind of content, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more sweet videos from the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's do it. So, I know what you're thinking. Only fans, right? This is what you think of. Pictures of scantily clad women. And yeah, that is definitely uh, where it has been. Apparently some other things also happen on uh, OnlyFans. Not on there, so I can't really tell you. But the social phenomenon of OnlyFans is definitely something crazy. And it's only getting crazier with the advent of new technology. Because check out this chick right here. This is Alexis. Alexis is not real. These girls here, probably all real. This girl right here, she's AI generated. She does not exist. That's insane. This girl right here, Alexis, the AI generated model, is going to put all of these girls right here out of business at some point in the not so distant future because AI generated girls or boys or whatever your fancy might be, men or women, obviously, not, not talking about uh, any AI images under the age of 18, of course, but these AI images are going to be able to be backed by AI chatbots. And so you're going to be able to message Alexis and her DMs and she'll message you back. And of course, then you can get on her OF account and see all kinds of interesting content over there. This is a fascinating development in the future of relationships, of men's relationships online, because this is coming. It's worrying, and it's coming. I mean, I'm an old man these days. Oh, yeah, girlfriends. This is some weird stuff, guys. Am I, am I crazy here? Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm just being a crazy old man here, you know, getting my late 30s, all these AI girlfriends, all these people doing these days. But here's the truth. AI girlfriends like Alexis here are going to be absolutely massive because here's some shocking statistics from OnlyFans. Now, this was from last year, actually. The number's bigger now, but over 190 million users have registered an OnlyFans account. I think that's around uh, 210 million now. We have 500,000 new users signing up to OnlyFans every single day. Of course, the vast majority of those are men looking to uh, spend their money looking at pictures of these girls, which is insanity. And pretty soon, they're going to be spending their money to look at pictures of Alexis, who, again, is not real. It's crazy stuff. The OnlyFans platform grows at a rate of 70% per month. I mean, I just these numbers are absolutely insane. It pays over $5 billion to its collection of content creators every single year. Uh, somebody named Bella Thorne made over a million dollars in her first 24 hours of having an account. That's insane. The average age of members with paid subscriptions between 35 and 44. Millennials. People my age. People probably your age based on the statistics of my YouTube analytics. Most of the people who watch my videos are this age. And you might have an account. I'm not judging if you do. I really don't care how you spend your time, what you spend your money on. This is a conversation about the implications of how we interact on the internet and the coming AI revolution that is going to dramatically change that for both the creators and the consumers of that content. Here's a depressing statistic as well for OnlyFans. The average OnlyFans content creator has only 21 subscribers and earns $180 a month. 
Ouch. Imagine selling your soul like that for 180 bucks a month. That's crazy, man. That is really, really, really crazy. Only 300 OnlyFans creators earn, earn more than a million dollars annually. Of course, this is like any content creation. The creme de la creme, the 1% or 0.1% at the top are the ones who earn most of the money. You know, like Mr. Beast on YouTube. He's the one who earns most of the money on YouTube because he's right at the top. A lot of creators um, earn a living. Right. If I was just based on my living off YouTube re ad revenue alone, I would be doing OK. Of course, I have other products and affiliates and sponsors and all this kind of stuff. But the vast majority of people on YouTube making content probably make 180 bucks a month if they're even monetized. People don't make very much money doing this uh, game. Right. They all hope to be the next Mr. Beast, to be big, to make it big, to be able to turn this into their full time job. The vast majority of people don't make it. Just like on OnlyFans, the vast majority of creators over there will never break into the next tier up, going beyond just making a few hundred or a few thousand dollars per month. And that's where Alexis comes in, because Alexis completely disrupts the model. Because you can create a thousand Alexises pretty easy. And if each one of those Alexises is only making 180 bucks a month, Suddenly, you've got a pretty interesting business model. And of course, you have a AI to DM people back. And most people are never even going to know the difference. Again, look at this girl. Would you actually believe this is artificial intelligence? But it is. It is. And if you look at it long enough, you might see some little details, some of the skin texture or something, just a little bit off. But AI is getting scarily good. Scarily good. And of course... Why am I worried about this stuff and my son in the future, of course? Well, here's the real reason the young straight men aren't having sex. This is according to HuckMag.com. I self-sabotage is the headline here. Sex among young men is declining. And the thing holding them back from physical intimacy are more complicated than you might think. But what is very, very interesting here is this number here. 28% of men under 30 haven't had sex in the last year. And it's unsurprising when we see over 200 million men signed up to OF. It's absolute craziness. Now, before we get into the implications of all this, I just want to let you know, by the way, I do run a cryptocurrency newsletter. It's pretty damn awesome. In fact, it's the best damn newsletter in the cryptocurrency industry. So if you are investing in crypto, then you got to get it checked out. Every single issue, super jam-packed, full of value. We talk about altcoins. We talk about the news in the industry. We talk about decentralized finance and airdrops and all kinds of alpha-packed information. Join our 75,000 weekly readers and use the link in the description to start your account. So when it comes down to it, and look, this is – I'm an investor. I like talking about investing course, I also think about where is my life going to be in 20, 30 years? Where is my life going to be with my children, my adult son by that point? And the reality is, is the internet has dramatically changed our ability to access some really cheap, quick dopamine, whether it be uh, the kind of images we've already looked at, and of course, more extreme images than those that you might find on certain sites. Of course, uh, Netflix, just the the Desire to just tune out, playing video games, gambling on meme coins, guys. Come on. Then, of course, there's stuff beyond that world. The drugs, the booze, the cake. Cake, man. I tell you, cake. Look, a little bit of these things may not hurt all that much, but a lot of it can. And we'd be lying to ourselves if we weren't talking about the reality of getting addicted to the algorithms, of getting addicted to logging into these kinds of sites like OF um, and on social media. And it's only going to get more problematic as the AI algorithms, the AI helps train the algorithms to become even better, to make us even more addicted to social media, to be more addicted to these kinds of sites, to talk to girls who aren't real. It's crazy, crazy stuff. And of course, it is very difficult to create intergenerational wealth for you and your family if you're too busy just jacking it all day long to AI avatars. 
Yikes. I like this as well. Uh, this graph here illustrates the health, wealth trade-off. Your money represents life energy. Life energy is all the hours that you are alive to do things. And whenever you work, you spend some of that finite life energy. This guy says it's starting to get very visible among people my age in their 30s. Who uh, of them are there taking care of their health and who of them that are working too much? Choose wisely, of course. This also factors into the conversation around, well, how do you spend your time? Are you out there looking for the things that are going to provide you real happiness? So I'll tell you what, looking at pictures of AI girls, it's not the route to happiness, to a fulfilled life, to a life where you are going to build the family and the things that you want to be happy. And it's getting crazier and crazier all the time because not only not is not only just pictures of AI girls like Alexis here on Instagram. Now we have two-way audio with spontaneously generated responses. So this is a story about a girl named Corinne. Now she's an actual human, but she worked with a company that took all of her YouTube videos and trained an AI on her voice and her mannerisms, her way of speaking, and then they put that into an AI chatbot and an AI avatar, so now you can actually talk with Corinne, and she is your AI generative girlfriend. So if you really like Corinne, you can pretend to be dating her by dating her AI, all for the low, low price of like $3 a minute or something like that. Oh, man, this is some crazy stuff. Where I, is anyone else... Just worried about the future of society here, or is it just me? Holy cow. Here's another one. This is Claudia. Claudia is not real either. Now, Claudia, um, she is on OnlyFans. Again, the disruption is already here for the average woman on OnlyFans. And, of course, in five or ten years' time, all those quarter, well, probably, by, probably by then there's going to be 500 million guys on uh, OnlyFans, and they're all going to be looking at AI girls who are more perfect than real girls in the real world. It's going to be a crazy, crazy. It's a brave new world, man. Gosh, all, this, all the sci-fi books from the 50s and 60s and 70s, they were all right. They were all right. And it's even worse than they thought it was going to be. Ex-Google executive predicts that AI sex robots could replace human intimacy. Goes way beyond just that. Now, you might have seen uh, Elon Musk's Tesla robot, right? And it's not very sexy looking at the moment, but I guarantee you that within 10 years' time, we're going to have walking, talking sex robots and that's, a, again, a scary future for the world, a scary future for the future of humanity. Goodness gracious, it's really just going to be like the top 10% of men, like getting all the girls, isn't it? What, what kind of world are we creating here with this, uh, these AI girls and the sex robots and the, the AI chat girls and stuff like this? Like, it's very crazy. And it's very sad, of course, for um, the people who are so lonely online that this is the route they go down again there's no judgments here this is a place of you know love and understanding for everybody listening to this video certainly I have no judgments towards anybody and anything they do but it does make me worry as i said for the future of well my son you know he's just a little dude right now but you know i've got to make that time for him in his life to be there for him and this meme gosh i feel like just sums it up so clearly doesn't it and I don't know what the answer is. The algorithms are getting more aggressive all the time. The AI is only going to make that worse. Uh, and the future is a crazy place. So I don't know where all this goes, but holy cow, things are getting crazy out there, guys. All right, I'll see you in the next video.